Stitching May here. I'm here a little sooner than normal to do my um, kind of end of May video update. I'm gonna try to get back on to my the last week of the month or my first week of the month schedule. Anytime I schedule myself though things go crazy. So like I came to you I think about the second week of April this time. So I don't have nearly as much progress as I did before. But I do have some. I work some on my Tree of Hope by Mirabilia. I work some on my Mickey the Jeanette. I do have a new start and a finish. Actually, it's an FFO. Um, I think it's an FFO. Um, and then I've got a little bit of haul and then some gifts. So I'm just going to show you that. And that's really it for this video. So it should be kind of quick. I do have a vlog video that I'm going to put up for May. It's some vlog footage I got for May. And guys, please let me know what you think about it. If you don't enjoy it, let me know. It won't hurt my feelings. I just won't record anymore. Um, if you do enjoy it, let me know and I'll keep it up. Some of it's kind of life things. Mostly it's stitching. I do throw some a little bit of life stuff in there just because. Um, but let me know what you think. If you enjoy it, that's great. If you don't, that's fine too. Just let me know. But I did get to get together. Get to get together. That's fun to say. With several of the Georgia Stitchers. Um, Organic Granny was there, of course, Gay was there, Eclectic Possessions was there, and then there were two others that don't do floss tube yet. Um, I did upload a video of that, so I'm sure you guys seen that to kind of show what we worked on. We had a blast. I think we're going to do that again um, in about mm, three or four months, and we'll let you know from there, see what's going to happen. Some of you guys had wanted to come, but weren't able to make this trip, so maybe you can come to the next one. But anyway, I'll go on into my works in progress. I'll start off with Tree of Hope by Mirabilia. This is probably the project I worked on the most. It's weird. I don't know. I kind of hit a little lull the last couple weeks and haven't stitched a whole lot. But here is where I was at the end of the last video. And then here I am now. I filled out the rest of the bottom left of the tree and then here in about from this little branch over we'll start a complete different color so it's kind of in this weird wedge shape and there's a different color and then I'll just continue on stitching this is by far right now my favorite piece to work on there are large blocks of the same color floss. Now you can't tell because it's variegated and it is strongly variegated. So like it looks like there's a bunch of different colors, but it's actually one um, color of floss. And I, I cannot speak enough about how much I am loving this pro project. I love mirrors in general. I already have at least one, if not two, that I want to start. I want to do next. I want to do the silver dragonfly, which is the companion piece to my um, emerald dragonfly, and um, which I was about to send to the framers the other day, but I'm gonna wait until I do the silver one so they can get framed together and have the same frame. I am probably about to send box of delights off to the framer. My husband was complaining the other day about not complaining. I shouldn't say complaining. He's like, you should finish something and. I pulled out my box of finished pieces. He's like, oh, well, let me take these to get these framed. He didn't realize how many finishes I had, so it's kind of funny. But anyway, um, so Box of Delights will probably go to the framers next. So I may end up having a finished FFO video or, you know, for you as soon. And then my next progress was on my Mickey's Vigenette by Thomas Kincaid. It is through the Disney Dreams kit. And do not judge me for my fabric. It got left in the hoop and I didn't realize it. But I finally, oh, here's where I was before. I've got to get used to that. And here's where I am now. I did finish out this pale peach color. I started in on this purple color and then another, I think it's another lighter purple color. But I was actually um, able to stitch that on that some at work I had a, a night where I was kind of a one-on-one -on -one sitter and um, so I was in the patient's room and I just kind of um, stitched while the person tried to sleep <laughs> he didn't sleep very well that night so but it worked and there that progress is okay like I said not not a whole bunch this month I'm sorry to disappoint you all these stitch 
maniacs and all, the, all these wonderful starts and progresses and mine's kind of boring this time. I do have a new start. This was something that I hauled um, whenever I, my son and I went to a movie and I went to a Hobby Lobby in that town. We went to a different movie theater because of show times. And I, ha I can't tell you how many times I've picked up these, loved them and put them down because I thought I'm not one to stitch on towels. But I think they're all so beautiful. I have decided that I'm going to stitch these. And I did stitch June's. I got it finished like just 20 minutes before this video started. <laughs> but um, so I will stitch all of these. And I'm trying to stitch a month ahead. That way I can go ahead and use them this year. So tonight I will start the July one. Which is this one with the lighthouse and the sailboat on it. And I'm stitching these just on Aberdeen towels by Charles Craft. Nothing too fancy. I'm cheating and using my 40% off coupon at Hobby Lobby. But there's my finish. I hope that's in frame. <laughs> um, I loved this piece. A lot of repetition because like the top of the watermelon and the bottom of the watermelon were the same. And the two flowers were the same. However, there weren't an even amount of ants. And that kind of bothers me. <laughs> Um, I'm fighting my own OCD because um, the lovely organic granny handed me some more or get, has passed along to me some towels that she says she won't use and for me to go through and use when I want. But they're not all the same. Like they, some of them have texture here. Some of them, the, it is in a different spot. Some of them have ruffles. And I really want to use them because these won't be displayed all at the same time. But I'll know they're different, and that's bothering me. So I'm probably going to end up, you know, buying a towel for each month. I'm going to try. We'll see. This will eventually be painted black by my husband. And this is going to be hung up over our trash can. I know that sounds like an odd place, but you'd have to know the how our house lays. And that way everybody can see it. And I want this painted black because our kitchen is white with black trim. And then, well, it's blue with white and black trim. So I don't want that to... Um, to all match and I'm thinking about uh, I haven't decided yet um, sewing this down see how it's kind of folded over to where it fits and then possibly even sewing a band through here to hold it in place that way it won't fall off because this is actually split in the middle so if that's sewn that way I can just slide it on and then I don't have to worry about it getting knocked around and knocked off um, I'm going to show you the back of my work for a second not really but kind of all that I did to protect the stitching was use some of this um, and Bond. This is the um, for dresses and blouses lightweight. Um, I think it's fusible interfacing. You just iron it on and it's good to go and it protects the stitches and then it makes it look so much neater than it really is. I don't think I'm going to use this for anything that I finish that isn't in a frame. That way you can't see my back and you can't see how messy it really is. Um, but it just bonded on there and um, it was really, really simple to do. Just kind of, the stitching was simple, it was very repetitive and then the fully finishing of it was really easy. But like I said, we are going to paint this black and I'm really excited to see that. I'll try to take a picture of it when it's, when this is done and when, it, when it's hanging up, where it's going to hang up. But that is it for progress. Like I said, I'll start tonight on the July one and go from there. Nothing nothing crazy um but like i said i do have a little bit of haul um one of them like i said was the fab the towels of the month by stony creek and then this pattern i got back at the um when lori and i went on that retreat in atlanta and it is by the nebby needle it's called every leaf every leaf speaks bliss to me fluttering from the autumn tree by emily bront and we both got this and we plan to do this together at some point. And then the Cross Stitch and Discuss had a, um, a stash swap. And um, you put up your pictures of stuff that you don't want anymore. And then other people put up pictures on this one thread of things they don't want anymore. And you kind of talk to each other and figure out if you have something they want and you swap back and forth. So in that, I um, got this lovely pattern by bobby the g designs i opened it it was not open it was fully closed when i got it i just had to fondle it and it is called um sparkling christmas and it's got these on um, black ada i may change it to black linen i'm not sure yet 
but it's those lovely, I don't know how, my camera's in a different spot, <laughs> um, but it's those lovely ornaments, and I think I traded a Dimensions gold kit, um, like a tiger, that I decided that I wouldn't stitch for this, and then I traded for this fabric, I had liked, this lady had so much fabric, it was all so pretty, and I, um, I traded for this fabric. It's Weigart. It's called Branded Apple. It's a 12 by 17 piece. I think it's been cut though, which is fine. But look at the colors in that. I love this color. I traded this for a, um, another Dimensions kit that I want to do. It wasn't a Dimensions gold kit though. It said like, um, Live, laugh, love, or I don't know. I don't remember what it was, but it was another one that I got, and it got wrong, you know. At one point, then my taste changed. But I had traded for this. However, she noticed that I had liked another piece of fabric, and she sent that one as well. And this one is from Silk Weaver's Mountain Mist, and it's a 35 by 25 piece. It's a 28 count Laguna. It's a custom dye, so I don't know, I don't know a lot about silk weavers. I don't know if that means that they will have it now or not, or if the size was a custom dye. I'm not sure, but this piece of fabric is huge. It's got blues and some greens, and it's just a very, very pretty piece of fabric. I don't know if you're seeing the different sheens of color. And it is definitely what I imagine a mountain mist to be. Um, I kind of fold it in half that way. Maybe it'll, the cold color will be a little bolder. Kind of gray bluey. And I've already figured out what I'm going to do on part of this because I was spoiled of organic greeny. And she was purchasing a pattern for our friend Gay, and she saw this. Um, Dragonfly, Tribal Collection Dragonfly by Sparklies. Um, Sparklies.co.uk and it's this beautiful tribal tribal dragonfly and I figured this this will fit on half of this fabric. So I'm going to do this on that fabric. I thought that would be really, really, really pretty. Can't wait to start this one. This one's like calling to me hardcore. I'm trying not to do the um, Crazy 7 again because I still have so many whips to work on from the first Crazy 7. But this one's calling to me hardcore. And so is the um, AAN Air Bresco that I'm going to do that turquoise fabric that I got at the retreat. And then there's another one that I got. It's a monogram that I got at the retreat, and that one's really calling to me. Speaking of that, it pays off to have a floss to cheat as a friend. You've probably seen in our comments, I pick on Lori about being a floss to cheat. She had this Victoria Clayton's um, Exemplar Fried Pickles, and she passed this skein on to me because that's what that, I have a uh, monogram that calls for this silk, and I couldn't find it anywhere, and she found it in her stash. Apparently she had several, but I didn't tell you that. Um, but she gifted that to me, and this is just amazing. It's a very pretty green color, and now it's calling to me to start. So I have three, kind of four, pieces that are really wanting to be started that I'm going to say no to until I get some finishes. And that's just a personal thing. Um, and then I did pick up this little... What's this called? The hammerhead, the shark head, the something. It's by Mighty Bright. I got this on clearance at Hobby Lobby for like 12 bucks, $12. But it's wonderful. It does take a um, adapter if you can find one. I think they've got them on Amazon for like $10 or it takes three AAA batteries. It's a very, very bright light. It's got bright, dimmer, and then off if I can turn it off. But in the clamp, I mean, it's, it really clamps on there and stays in place. The other clip light that I have doesn't, it kind of flops around. And plus it's turquoise, so who could resist? And then it's gifted also this little rocking horse. Um, there's a story behind this. My sister had a rocking horse very, very similar to this on our Christmas tree, and we had a puppy dog. It was made of foam. I don't know if you all remember those ornaments that were like 
foam or styrofoam and then like the material was stretched over it and they were, you know, it's back in the 70s. But that was her first Christmas ornament. And our dog got it, not my dog, like our family dog back then, got it and chewed the head off of the horse. So then it was kind of a faceless horse because my mom could not put on the Christmas tree because it was my sister's first ornament. My first ornament has now absconded in the years, so neither one of us have our first ornament. So when I saw this, I thought of her and I added it to my wish list so I could stitch it for her to where she could put it on her Christmas tree and kind of have her for first ornament again. But it's a Mill Hill. It's the holiday collect winter holiday collection. It's called Rocking Course. MH18-3304. And then thanks to the Eskimo's wife, I found a designer that I had kind of stumbled across what some of his patterns before, but didn't know who he was. And that was the Wee Beasties. And I had fallen in love with several of his dragonflies and cannot find the patterns. Cannot find the Wee Beasties dragonflies. And there's two or three of them. Like my minion band-aid. Band that was courtesy of my son. I cut my finger and I had to have a band-aid. Anyway. Um, so I was looking for those on eBay. And instead I found the actual designer is Terrence Nolan. And the um, kind of the people, the manufacturer of the, the patterns is Dimples. Through looking for those dragonflies, I did find two other patterns of his on eBay and I'm going to hang out in them because I thought they were beautiful. Well, one's for me and then one is for Gay. The one for me is taking a break and it's a hummingbird sitting in flowers. And I just think that's so, so pretty. And my mother-in-law has asked for a hummingbird pattern and I was going to do the black work hummingbird that was in the magazine, but I just, I don't know. Um, it's not calling to me anymore and when I saw this one I thought of her so because she loves her flowers and it's kind of hummingbird so I think I will eventually do that for her and then the one I got for Gay she always loves very eccentric patterns this one is called Santa Baby and it's another hummingbird but he has a Christmas hat on a Santa hat on and you can stitch it with or without the Santa hat but I showed it to her and she was like, oh, I like that. So I went ahead and purchased them together. The same seller was selling them, so. And it looks like they do have some blending on them, but usually they're blended with light print. And they do have some beads, petite glass beads. So get ready, yeah, you get to do some um, beading and some blending. <laughs> and, but that's really it as far as cross stitch goes. Like I said, kind of a boring video. Sorry, it's not more exciting. Lost you knows itch, sorry. Um, but that it is what it is. And like I said, I'm coming to you a little sooner than I normally do. And I plan to, I probably won't see you until July. So I'll have more progress, hopefully next time. I will say that I've picked up kind of a new craft. I haven't picked up a new craft, my son has. And I'm sure you guys seen this. It's the little perler beads. Oh, I just broke it. I had to fix it. Um, it's the little perler beads. You know, the wonderful little beads that you put on the pegs and then you melt. It kind of reminds me of cross stitch. It's a version of cross stitch. Something that we can do together. But, um, so we've started. So I picked up a kit, this kit on clearance at Michael's for like 50 cents. Didn't think he would take to it, but he loved it. He absolutely loved it. So of course we went back and got some of the actual, you know, real kit stuff. And it comes like this, or the ones that Michaels do. Apparently, I found out now that you can buy the colors in individual bags. This is driving my OCD crazy. So, I've been sitting and um, separating the colors into one of the lost boxes. So, he can have his stash. Um, it was so cute. We finished some tonight. And he was like, you've got to make a video. So, you'll probably see some of that on the vlog later. I hope I don't drive you crazy with him on the vlog. So, when you look at the vlog, you'll probably see my son and our dog and my husband <laughs> but anyway that's it for now and i just he wanted to make sure that i showed you guys the bee we also did a ninja turtle but i'm not supposed to talk about him yet because he's a surprise for his daddy so i couldn't show you that he made sure i put him away to where we could surprise his daddy with him but he wanted to make sure that i showed you guys his little bumblebee <laughs> but that's it for now like i said thanks for watching take care guys